Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paula. My channel is Paula MJ's Place. Today I have another Dollar Tree haul for you. It is kind of a mishmash of things, so it's, you know, I didn't really find a lot of things I was looking for, but I did find some interesting things. Also stay tuned for the end of the video, there will be a taste test, and after that there will be photos of a lot of new back to school things that I did find but I didn't need because I don't have any back to school. Not to say that I don't take the opportunity to purchase um, you know, back to school things if I need them, I guess. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for tuning in. Um, don't forget to give my channel thumbs up if you enjoy my videos. The thumbs up really, really helps my channel grow. I appreciate when you do that. Also comment below. I'd like to get to know you. Let me know what you think of the videos. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? Um, so this I usually purchase at the grocery store. Let me just fix sure I think you're a little crooked here. Sorry. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, Hamburger Helper Stroganoff. I usually purchase this at the grocery store, but I found now with the prices changing, the so, so, ugh, so much more expensive at the grocery store. This is gonna be one of those videos I apologize in advance. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so for $1.25, this is good. I think at the grocery store, the grocery store, the grocery store, I pay, I think, um, almost two dollars. I don't remember. I bought it a few weeks ago, but I don't remember. Anyway, this is the stroganoff. I'm sure you've all seen it before, but I thought for a dollar twenty-five, I'm going to pick it up from the Dollar Tree um, in case I need a little something for during the week. Um, so yeah, another repeat purchase. So I have started. My husband likes this toothpaste, uh, Colgate baking soda and peroxide whitening toothpaste. It is. Um, extra 25% free, so it's five ounces. I bought this a, a while back and my husband really liked it, so I purchased it quite a few times. But I was using the other, um, the one that they had, I think it was enamel or something, it was a, a, a paste, not a paste, a mint, a gel, that's what it was. So I was using that and I had bought quite a bit and I stocked up, but I ran out, so I tried one of these, and this is actually really, really good. The prescription, the prescription, I told you. The expiration, um, yeah, I know I bought my glasses. Here they are, excuse me. Okay, the expiration is going to be, really, 3 I don't know if you can see that there. But yeah, and it's five ounces. That's a lot. And I enjoyed using this this morning. I really did. So I got two. So now we should be stocked up for a little while. So there's that. Um, oh, I want to show you this. First of all, before we get anywhere, going anywhere else, if you would recall on my last, um, not the last video, I think, but the video before that, I hauled these little jars. I hauled three of them. One of them I've, I'm using. So this one used to be pink. What happened was, I don't know if you got, you all remember, I thought they felt sticky. So I tried to wash, you know, wash it, wash the stickiness off. It's some kind of a coating. So this is what happened. It turned clear. And if you all remember too, it had like a break on the top. There was like a chip. So my friend, Susan told me, why don't you glue something on top of there? And I did, I put a little pearl. So it doesn't look great, but I think I'm, I'll paint it and you won't be able to see the, um, you know, the glue. But yeah, I wanted to say that, how strange is that? It's just some kind of a sticky coating. So I didn't, you know, bother with this one. I just left it. And the other one I have is a little shorter. I'm using that for Q-tips. But I don't know, is that safe? having some kind of a sticky coating on there that comes off. I don't know. I just wanted to show you. So be aware, if you buy these, don't try to wash the sticky coating off because that's what'll happen. Anyway, let me put these over here so that I won't break them because I am klutzy. All right, so I wanted to show you this too. I saw Laura from Laura's 
craft room LCR hauling this a couple of weeks ago and I wanted to try it. So um, it's the Cosmic Metallic Peel-Off Mask by Freeman. It's a full size, uh, I'm trying to see, six ounces. So I, probably in the minority, I don't like those paper masks. They just give me the willies, that wet paper on my face. Oh, I just cannot stand that. And in the winter, if it's cold, it's just, and in the summer, I can't stand it either. So I'd rather have a peel-off mask. So I'm gonna try this on my hand. Mmm, smells really good. I'm gonna put a little on my hand and we'll see. So I'll talk, I'll get through my video, then we'll see if it'll peel off by the time I'm done. And we'll see how my skin feels. Okay, and it is by Freeman. That's a brand name. Okay, let me just shove it over here so it doesn't get anything dirty. All right, so I'm just rubbing it on my hand. It smells really good, I gotta say. Oh, sorry, I had to tear my paper towel there. Okay, so we'll just let that dry and pull my sleeve up while I speak here. Okay, another repeat purchase, Scotty's um, tissues, Everyday Comfort 200 Tissues 2 Ply. So they are selling these same ones at the Dollar Tree, I believe it's 125 um, for, the, for the box. And these are 200, so be aware, if you're gonna buy tissues, might as well just get the 200. I bought them because th that's a really good deal for $1.25. I think they're like $1.50 for the small cubes at Walmart. So yeah, hypoallergenic, and the box is really pretty. Is that lavender, I think? So yeah, now I'm pretty stocked up for a little while. Hopefully none of us will get sick. Um, I did buy my husband another Reach tr uh, toothbrush. Crystal clean, reaches deep between teeth, comes with a free brush cap, and yes, he likes the firm, so that's what I got him. I know it's not good for you, but so yeah. That ought to hold them for a while. Uh, let's see, I did buy a couple of school, school-ish things. <laughs> the first one was uh, Play School Washable Markers. There's eight of them, non-toxic washable markers, broad line. I'm not crazy about the broad line, but that's okay. I like to do these when I have like, I bought those little coloring, um, they're cards, inspirational cards, and you can color. The crayons I have from Dollar Tree are just awful. They don't, you know, color well. So I had a small box of markers. They color good, but I needed more colors. So there's eight in this one. I don't know if the tip's going to be too broad, but we'll see. So there's that. I also got this Bic Cover It Strong Tear Resistant Correct Tape, I guess is what it is. I have this in my office and I use it once in a while but when it gets old it turns yellow and whatnot and then I also have the liquid and that dries up so I needed a new one um so I got that and this I thought was the cutest thing it's by Adair Adore Adair I don't know paper clips this is in the back to school section how cute is that <laughs> oh I'm a sucker for paper clips <laughs> that too you know I have all the colored paper clips and then I have the ones with the little tassels on them I don't know anyway let's open these up shall we there's a one two there are four of them how cute is that excuse the noise you know me all right and I don't know is that a dare or a dell that company I have no idea Maybe if I put my glasses on and try to read it. Let's see. A door? I think that's an O. A door. I can see where a door would be a, a name, a good name for this. Because they are adorable. Look at that. Oh, and they're like rubbery. The tip is rubbery. So here's the paper clip. Oh, and it comes it looks like it comes off. I don't want to pull it off. But it's so cute. Look at that. Ah! And they're bigger paper clips, they're not the small ones. Yeah, this is rubbery. How cute is that? 
Well, let's look at this one. So that's a purple one. This is a pink one. Look at that. It's like a lollipop. Ah. Okay, there's two. This is a purple smiley face. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, and a rainbow. I love the rainbow. Look at that. So cute. And then, uh, oh, we have a strawberry. And the last one, I think it's a peach. Could it be a peach? Could be an apple? I don't know. These colors are off, so. That is the cutest thing. Oh, I just love these. I should have got more. Aw, if I see them again, I'm getting more. It's the little things, y'all. Okay. Um, I don't know where I want to go with this. I have so many different things here. Okay. I did get these trouser socks. There is a there are a pair of three sizes, five to ten shoe size. Now, Dollar Tree has their own brand of, of um, trouser socks, but these are PEDS. That's why I got them. I have Dollar Tree's brand, and there's nothing wrong with them. Um, but I wanted this name brand. I wanted to try the PEDS one. So it says, show your legs some love with PEDS trouser socks, specially designed with lycra fibers to gently hug your legs. Tactile micro-touch nylon gives them a soft, luxurious feel. So these are actually pretty nice. Then you get three in here, semi-opaque, wide comfort band so if the band on the socks bother you a wide comfort band i don't know that's not very wide anyway i think i will enjoy these when i wear slacks in the winter time that was a good buy for three of them name brand um this right here is a repeat purchase it is the raz shower necessities easy grip sponge so it's one of those um shower thingies i have one already i i hauled it a long time ago i just started using it because i had so many i love this this is gives you a good exfoliation because it's a little bit rough and you get good because it has its grip you can control better so if you need more exfoliation you just press a little harder and you have better control with this thingy here so um don't think it's made by Dollar Tree. Let's see. And it does have some, this plastic thing, I think it's bubbles or whatever. It's so cute. And right up my alley, the purple. So um, it is made by Paris Presence, pa Paris Presence Incorporated. So wet and apply body wash, gently squeeze to create lather and massage skin clean. Rinse and hang to dry, replace every 30 days for sure. Don't forget to replace yours because they get um grow bacteria okay so there's that and then this i passed up last week but i already have a jade roller as a matter of fact i have two um i have one with two sides well this is the under eye one the one i have one has a smaller side for under the eyes and then a bigger side for the face and then i have just a regular jade roller that i hauled from dollar tree but the one that I have for under the eyes is a little bit bigger than this one. I thought maybe this would be better. Uh, it says, use to apply your favorite under eye cream, starting at the inner quarter, corner of the eye. Use the jade roller to gently sweep under the eye. Store in the fridge or freezer for a soothing, cooling application. After each use, rinse thoroughly and air dry. So I thought that would be pretty, pretty nice. Um, Storing in the fridge, yeah, I'm sure it's great. I'm just not, I don't like that. I can't stand those masks, those paper masks that are cold and so this, yeah. Um, so this doesn't, I thought it would kind of roll in there and it doesn't, it's just a round thing. And you just, you know how the jade roller rolls? I don't know why I thought this would roll, like it would roll in there, but no, it's just stationary. So it looks like it's got some type of a bamboo um, handle. I don't know. <laughs> Looks like my hand is drying. So we'll peel that off in a little bit. Okay, well, I'm going to give that a go. Um, also, I got, I've seen people haul these like months ago. We're just barely getting these in my store. So this is a solar stair light. And, um, this is the round one. They had a, like a, uh, I want to say, 
No, I don't remember the word. Uh, horizontal comes to mind, but that's not the word I want. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I got the circular one. They had a, not a square, but a rect rectangle. There we go, the rectangular-ish. Rectangular shaped one. I got this one because, why did I get this? <laughs> oh my word. Okay. I got it to, oh, I got it to put on my sign outside. I have a sign that says welcome. I figure if I put this on the top, it would illuminate it. So that would look pretty, but I don't know. I would just probably try to stick it on there with Velcro or something. It does come with the screws and it says solar light. There's the front, there's the back, and uh, it doesn't light up. Oh, you know what? There's no, I probably got one that's no good because, oh, it's an on off. Okay, you push it on and off. Just a little button there. I don't think I got a good one because it's not doing anything. Okay, I'll have my husband take a look at it. Usually he can fix these kind of things, hopefully. Bummer. I was looking forward to that. Okay, whatever. Um, I got this 10 piece plastic co condiment cups with lids. So there's 10 pieces in there. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. Sometimes you wanna give someone a little taste test of something, not even so for a condiment. And you can just put it in there with the lid and say, here you go for a taste test. You want to try this? If you like it, you know, I'll give you more or whatever. So that's what I got that for. Or if you're just going to, you want a little dip or something and you don't want a, a lot and you don't want to put it in a bowl, just put it in there and just dip from there so that you know there's not a lot in there. I don't know how, how much that holds. It doesn't really say how much each one holds. They're small. Okay. Now, I'm coming down to the taste test items. But before I do that, I'm going to try oh, try to peel this off. I don't think it's completely dry. Let's see. Well, no, it feels dry. Okay, let me see if I can. Let me get my glasses on. I'm going to try to peel that off. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, so there's that. It came off. No problem. A few little sticky ones here and there, but I'll get those off later. Um, let me just see how my... I know I had another... Oh, here it is. Let me see how my hand feels, and I'll tell you if it feels any better. Because I think it's supposed to be, um, what is it supposed to be? Glowing with this special, precious, infused with calendula, calendula extract. Helps soothe and calm your skin. Perfect for sensitive skin. That I do have. Um, I mean, my skin doesn't feel any better. But I mean, it didn't do any bad stuff to it, I don't think. And it smells good, so we'll give that a go. All right, so I hauled the moon pies and the strawberry. So I'm gonna give these a taste test. Last week I did the salted caramel and I did not like those. Um, I don't know what it is about a moon pie I mean, I like marshmallow and the stuff on the outside is pretty good. It's whatever that cookie thing is, that just is so crumbly and to me it tastes like dirt. It's the only way I can describe it. If you like moon pies, God bless you. You know, everybody's different. I just couldn't stand that salted caramel one. And I know I'm not gonna be a fan of this cookie thing, but I wanna try the strawberry and see what that tastes like. So let's give that a go. Uh, and these expire 11 1 So let's give this a go. And there's three in here. 
and they're big. They're double decker. This is the strawberry. So I like strawberry. That's why I think I might enjoy some of this. Strawberry artificially flavored. So it's 300 calories. I don't remember if you, if you remember from last week. You, one third of a pie is 100 calories. So you don't, I mean, you can eat the whole thing at once, but if you don't want the whole 300 calories, then you ought to just eat one third of it. And if you don't like it, spit it out. <laughs> yep. Okay. Here we go. So this is, it smells okay. I mean, you can smell the marshmallow. And I don't really smell strawberry, but let's see. Got my water ready. I'm not taking a really big bite this time because last time I was, I had trouble swallowing that other one. Okay. I gotta say, I still don't like it, but I like the strawberry part, the outside. I could just peel that off and eat it. The rest of it, it's a no for me. A no. But I'm a trooper. I tried. I just get some water. Okay. Now these looked interesting. These are by Crunchy Craving Sesame Chips Honey Roasted Pineapple Habanero. Now, if you don't know me by now from my videos, let me just tell you, I like different things, exotic things, not your average kind of, you know, cheeseburger or whatever. I like all kinds of stuff on my burger. Exotic things, I could go for pineapple or some kind of anything. So I always go for different things. My husband said, you like the funny stuff. You like the ugly stuff. He, he'll buy, he'll go and buy donuts and he says, I bought the ugliest ones because I know you would like them. Like those apple uh, fritters, they're all bumpy and stuff. He finds the most exotic ones and he'll say, I know you'll like these. And sure enough, I like different things. That's just the way I am. If you don't, that's good. We're all different, makes the world go round, you know. But anyway, my point is I wanted to try these because I've never seen these and they look very interesting. So, these are, there's about two and a half servings here. One serving is 160 calories, which is a quarter of a cup. Let me show that to you. And um, so honey roasted pineapple habanero sesame chips. I saw they had sesame sticks too, but not in this flavor. So I want to try these. But I don't even know if I did show you the box on this for the for the moon pie. Let me just show you that so that you, you can see that first. And then now let's get back to these. I'm going to cut these just because... Oh, these expire on 5-9-2023. All right. Let's see. Give it up. smells like sesame seeds. It reminds me of Asian food. Okay, let's grab one. It's like a little triangle. It smells good. Right away, I get some sweetness from the pineapple. Mmm. And taste the um, sesame seeds. And then at the very end, you get the, the habanero. That is good. Oh. Mmm-hmm. Wow. You get kind of a tangy, sweet, pineapple flavor. Then you can taste the sesame seeds. And at the very end you get this 
habanero warmth. That was a lot. That is really good. I could eat that whole bag. I would say spice level, probably a medium. It's not that hot. I mean, while, when you first eat it, you taste the pineapple and the sesame, and then at the end is when you that habanero kicks in. Kind of <laughs> burns the throat a little. But that's really good. Oh, yummy. Crunchy cravings. Sesame chip. Yum, yum. I give that two thumbs up. Really, really good. Yeah. Okay. So that does it. That's the end of my haul. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully next week, my Dollar Trees will have some more exciting items because I didn't see, I really wanted those towels, those hand towels, kitchen towels. Not one of the stores had them. I only had, saw one last week and I got what I saw and that's it. I see people hauling the really pretty um, lavender color ones. So many different ones. I only saw that one. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, next week, I'll have, should have another video for you. So until then, be well and be blessed.